Take two. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've recorded a video and uploaded. So today, I'm gonna do a haul. So I've been collecting makeup over these past few months. And I decided why not do a haul today. Most of it is from um, the Sephora VIB so I took advantage of that since I am a VIB member. So I was just like, might as well take advantage. And I was like, oh, why not record a video? Mm -hmm. So today, I'm gonna do that for you guys. So let's get right into the video. Mm -hmm. So I, from BH Cosmetics, I got the Take Me to Brazil palette. It looks like this. I finally got it. I've seen every like YouTuber or people talk about it. So I was like, why not? And it looks like this. So I got this palette. And then I also got the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition pi uh, palette. It's the new one that she came out with. And oh my god. Her shades are amazing. Her highlighters, they're to die for. They're to die for. She has a big mirror, which is good. And then she has these shades. Here, let me swatch a highlight. I'm going to swatch this one for you guys. Look at that. Can you all see that? Like, look at that. And then hold on. I'm bad at swatching, so I don't know if it's coming out good or not, but. And then from BH Cosmetics, I got brushes. So the first brush that I, that I got is a Rose Quartz 9-piece brush set. And it looks like this. I honestly love their brushes and I recommend you guys getting these brushes, especially if you're starting off with makeup. These brushes are economic and they're actually e economic, economic, economic. They're affordable. So these brushes are affordable. And this look like this. Let me take one out. This one didn't come out with like a little makeup bag, whatever. But I've gotten some that come with like a makeup bag. So this, this is just one. This is like a marble kind of print. And they're really soft. The next brush set is an Eye Essential 7 piece brush set. It looks like this. I actually used these already. So like it doesn't come out with their like little bag like the other one did. But they look like this. And they're obviously used because I used this one. I've been using, I used these with the Take Me to Brazil palette today to create this look, I look. I did like a sunset look. So yeah, I got these brushes. The final brush set that I got is the Lavish Elegance 15 piece brush set with cosmetic bag. And it looks like this. This one actually came with the bag, so it looks like this. And these are the brushes that it came with. Oh, there's trash in there. But yeah, these are the brushes. I haven't used them. I've only used this one, like the spoolie, just to do my eyebrows. But other than that, I haven't really used these either. Which I have to, but I haven't gotten to it. So from the drugstore, I got this Physician Formulas Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I've heard everyone rave about this, and I was like, might as well try it. You know, I could always return it if I don't like it. But this thing is amazing. Like, oh my god. Do you guys need to grab it? So it's this one. It looks like this. Their packaging is beautiful. And then the smell. It could be strong for some. But I honestly don't mind the smell. Like, it smells like tropics. Tropical. The tropics. Whatever. So I think this is amazing. Oh, then from Ulta, I got these um, Freeman face masks. I got this banana O instant smoothing mask. And I got another one that's a lemon one. But yeah, I like this one because it's for radiance, like to give your a skin a more radiant look. And the other one's like for pores. Because I've been breaking out. Like, can you guys see my cheeks? Like, girl, I need to find something ASAP. And then another drugstore product that I got that I've been hearing everyone talk about is the blush. The blush the bake highlighter from elf and blush gem looks like this i've heard that you have to scrape off the first layer in order to like 
um, right to be pigmented and that's what I did and it did work so it looks like this this is the color let me try to let me get a good and it looks like this like it's pretty pigmented and let me switch it here like girl so if you guys are looking for an economic highlight I honestly recommend this one so now from like the Sephora like VIP visa, what I really got from the VIP visa. So I got this beauty blender trio kind of thing. Obviously I used it, but it come it came with the it comes with the soap, and it came with the original beauty blender. Obviously mine is all dirty because I just used it. It comes with this beauty blusher, which is for cream and powder blush, but I don't use it for this. I use it for like to blend in my. When I'm color correcting and then for my um, liquid highlight, I just use it. And then it comes with the Micro Mini, which is for highlighting, concealing, contouring, and color correcting. But I honestly think this is too small, even though like it does get bigger once you wet it. I just, I feel like it's too small to be blending it out. So I didn't really like these two, but I was like, hey, why not give it a try? But I love the Beauty Blender. Although the Real Techniques is a, a dupe for that, so... And then from Costco, I had a my friend on Snapchat, she posted this and I was like, what in the world? So the Costco had the beauty blenders for $15. I know not much, but I mean, $5 is something, so might as well have something off rather than nothing. So I decided to get the uh, black one. So it's the original beauty blender. They had the black one, the pink one, like the nude one, and then I think a different color. I'm not sure if it had the other color, but I decided to go for the black because I was like, mm, my why not? I already had the pink one, so from the cell, I obviously took advantage and then got my favorite bronzer of all time, which is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. If you guys watch me like on Instagram Live, which you guys should uh, follow me on Instagram, I use this for my bronzer. Like it's like uh, this is my thing, and I just hit pan in the other one, so I was like, why not grab a backup so just to have it same with my favorite um high-end foundation which is the estee lauder devil wear i just feel like this is the only foundation like high end so far that i've tried that that covers everything but yet yeah, doesn't give me this like weird texture i don't know how to describe it but i just like this one because i tried the hourglass one the stick foundation and i feel like that one it just doesn't give me that full coverage that I like and then around my nose it starts to separate which I'm like um I did not spend so much money for you to be separating so I got that and then I obviously oh no this is from Ulta I got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I just ran out of my mine so I was like I need a backup so I'm in this shade Light Sand I also got from the VIB so I got this Clarisonic the Radiance Brush Head this one's a dual one because I got one for me and my mother. I also got the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. The one everyone raves about. This is actually amazing. Like I... Now I know why everyone raves about it. Like this doesn't move. Like it stays in place. So let me switch it. Y'all see that how pigmented that is? And then I also got... I went crazy with highlighters because... I just love my highlighter, so I was just like, I need to get some in my hand. So I got the Becca one in Peresco, Peresco, Peresco Pop. I think that's how you say it. And it looks like this. Let me swatch it. This is how it looks with a swatch on my finger. And then, let me swatch it in my hand. Ooh, you let's take a moment to appreciate this highlight well I've only used it once I know I liked it but I was just like I need to give it a try so it looks beautiful here and it looked beautiful on my skin the one time I tried it but I still haven't like really used it and I also got moonstone since I already have opal in a sample size so I was like why well, get opal in a full size when I have a sample size and I haven't finished it so I was like okay let me just get a different one so I got moonstone I like this one as well. Yeah, let me swatch this for you. This is how it looks swatched. Like, look how beautiful that looks. Let me swatch it on my hand. Ooh, you 
juicy that I put too much ice sauce. They're so like creamy. They go really nice on the skin. Got these new highlights. That I'm about to show you guys. This is like my life now. Like whenever I'm putting on my highlight, I have to. If I don't have this on, I feel like my highlight isn't popping. So I got the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Sunlight, Moonlight, and Celestial. So let me swatch them for you. So this is Sunlight. So Sunlight looks like this. Obviously you can't really tell. Let me open the bottle. And it looks like this. Like look at that. I had a sample of Moonlight that I got from Sephora. So I decided to get the whole um, bottle. This is Moonlight and it looks just like this. Let me go ahead and swatch this one right here. Let me swa um, swatch this one. Do you see this? I haven't tried Celestial yet, but I know I'm going to like it. I already know if I like the other ones. And then the last thing I got is the Hula Benefit Bronzer, the one everyone raves about. And I kind of see what they rave about. But I honestly think this was a little too dark for me. Whereas I think I just went a little too um, harsh going in. I didn't go light-handed to build up the color. So I just like grabbed a lot and I was like, mm-hmm. But I was like, oh, hell no. So I learned that I should just go light-handed at first. But honestly, these two and the Physician Formula ones are basically like dupes. I would consider them dupes, so I would just, if you don't want to splurge on this, just go for this one. And that's all I got, and then I, uh, Sephora just added a box for the, for like a sample, that's all I got. So yeah guys, so that's all for my haul, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm not trying to brag in any type of way, I just accumulated this over the months and decided to show you guys, hey, this is what I liked, and this is what I didn't, so yeah, and I wanted to show you guys what I got as well, in case you guys were wondering what I got, so I posted it on my Snapchat, but yeah, so that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be definitely posting a lot more now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I'm going to have them on here and down below. Alright guys. I'll see you guys until next time. Uh -huh. So bye guys.